Hey everyone, it's BDC. Uh, thanks for checking out this uh, video and my channel. And <laughs> you tried to wave. Um, yeah, didn't this, work. That's my uh, that's my buddy uh, Hard Pipe. We're doing um, an arc video. It's actually I think my uh, no. You use the radio men menu. Remember you hold the uh, left bracket. See, you know, um, you guy, remember? See my pink and green guy. So um, I run a uh, I run a small cluster uh, server setup and uh, private stuff for our uh, middle aged gamer group and. One of, my, one of my buddies, I made him the admin, and so um, I go away from Ark for a little while, and then I come back, and my guy's painted pink and green, so hat tip green freak there. There you go. So, uh, yeah, today um, we're doing an Ark Survival Evolve video. This is a, a showcase of, uh, of uh, Hard Pipe's uh, metal uh, motorboat boat that he, or motorboat, I guess, uh, that he made for killing the the leeson just legions it's uh, however you pronounce that uh that shark it's a um, huge huge whale shark yeah big big huge nasty one and so we've had uh boats get trashed and stuff like that oh hey cool all right it's uh raining yep. Rain, <laughs> I, shut up. i'm keeping going so uh anyway um yeah this is a um this is uh he calls it the ironclad and um it's made primarily out of the metal stuff. Um, we use uh, several mods on this server, the principal mod being Structures Plus, and so a lot of the, um, a lot of the, uh, actually I think all of it, all the foundations, the walls, and everything else is S Plus stuff, so very, very good mod. Um, every yeah, server it's 100% S Plus, actually, every bit of it, except gotcha. for the plotters. Yeah, the plotters and the solar thing up top, that's a separate mod. So um, yeah. one thing I, I wanted to note on here is that this is inspired um, by a gentleman named uh, sea rower and um, Art found his video uh, oh, a couple of days ago or something and um, and watched uh, watched how he crafted a boat and some of the notes he had on placing the foundations underneath the actual motorboat itself and the you know and all that kind of thing and so he he uh, got him got him going enough to be able to make his own here so we will link that uh, video um, to that in the description below so. All right, show off what you got here. Let's do this. All right. All right, so basically the, the key to building around the motorboat is to protect it. So you want the actual foundations to take the damage. So as you can see, the uh, metal foundations actually encase mm -hmm. the whole motorboat, except for this propeller here, and I'm, I'm wondering how this is going to work. Um, yeah, if that's a live damage point that uh, yeah, the uh, shark yeah. hit. Yeah. This, this could be a, a, a hole. <laughs> this could be a problem here. Could so um, no I, might, I might have to look and see if I can uh, add something to cover that. I don't think I can get any lower than that. Uh, most of the... Uh, whoop, I'm drowning. Most of the um, mods that I've seen have been done to rafts, not an actual motorboat. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, well, they, don't, they don't sit this low. But uh, at any rate, so we have the X species... Um, Completely surrounded the boat. It's got 360 coverage. Um, they're slanted. Uh, Talking six, 16 plots, right? Yes, uh, roughly 16 plots. Yep. And uh, they're slanted for a reason. They're slanted so that way they can angle downward. Because most of your most of your um, uh, your attacking uh, animals are going to come from below, not above or on top. So right. at, at, say. And about right here, they can actually get hit by those things. Uh, gotcha. Down. Come out and take a look at that. Yeah. See, so I mean, it's, I it's, gotcha. it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And they actually probably will go even farther down. Let's see, probably at about this angle, maybe even lower, maybe at about a thirty degree mm -hmm. down angle. Um, okay. So, so when, uh, real quick, in uh, in Arc, you've got um, you've got plant species X and plant species Y. Now, which one did you use again, and why? And the the X right here is the one that actually shoots uh, projectiles. Okay. The Y is is just kind of a trap. It actually will hold. Um, it's kind of like a Venus flytrap. Okay. It just kind of grabs it and holds it, and absolutely will do absolutely nothing in this situation here. Um. So uh, yeah, the the plant species X, and then of course they have to be fertilized, uh, and they need to be um, watered. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the island. It, it pretty much rains several times a day. Yeah, so it's it's already gone through a rain cycle and it's doing it again. <laughs> Trying to get correct. clear weather for the video here, but you know, whatever. So <laughs> yeah, you will you will you will not need on the island. You will not need to have these things irrigated. Um, there's really no need to. Uh, you could probably kind of see over here to the left of the boat. I made an irrigation system, and that was just a just to get them temporarily irrigated. 
as I, as I built them. So, right, yeah, you kind of slide um, it up underneath the side. Correct. Yeah, yep. I got and you. I could just rotate all sides. And as you can see, I've got some uh, turrets up here. Um, these turrets are ready to go. These are actually advanced oh, yeah. uh, minigun turrets. S plus minigun turrets, yeah, there you go. Yeah, these actually use sniper ammo, so they'll hit a little harder than your standard uh, other turrets. Mm -hmm. Very costly so, to they, make. Yeah, they are costly. They're twice the amount of gunpowder and, and I believe twice the amount of ingots. So, right. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably going to put four regular ones in between uh, just to kind of uh, even it out. Gotcha. So it won't be so expensive. And uh, uh, it just add a little bit more DPS, you know, right. four more. I think they hit at about 150 or 125 to 150 per shot per okay. point. Okay. So on the uh, smaller ones, these I don't know. The sniper ones, I have no idea how much he's hit for. So mm -hmm. uh, yep. it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I've already configured these uh, to hit specific uh, things. So if you want to kind of walk up to one and show the audience uh, what's okay. going on, if you if you go into the uh, settings of it, turret options, All right. you'll see that it has specific exclusions. Gotcha. Um, so it only uh, it only attack everything but what's checked. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I see so you have friendly kind of stuff here. Ankle, yellow, griffins. And, um, yeah. Just things that are generally not going to attack the boat. Um, yeah. For whatever reason. Carnos, nucleo, uh, sea based stuff. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Fire yes, wyvern. <laughs> yeah, hey, you never know. Better to have it configured and not need it. You know? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. So, so, so yeah, because I mean, I had uh, taken this thing out of my last boat. I had eight turrets on it, and it was shooting everything in creation, and I burned through so much ammo. I was like, okay, yeah, I need to, I need to re rethink this. Oh yeah. So. And this, this uh, stuff, yeah. ammo is expensive to build in this. It so, is. It is. You know, yeah. Yeah, I've been there done that. Is. But the nice thing about the X Plus uh, species, or the X Species X, rather, uh, yeah. they don't cost anything. They just continue to shoot, and that's pretty much it. Um, yep. The only thing it requires is just their startup. Your initial startup takes a little while for it to grow uh, because I don't have them in a. Uh, greenhouse right so i think we're coming up on four or five days actual in-game days right now and they're still not up wow okay yeah so it, it could it could be a while um okay but that's pretty much it yeah uh let's let's go inside and get a look at what it looks like on the inside okay yeah real so quick one thing see. i was going to make a note of um is uh oh, the power you, yeah yeah the, uh, well yeah you got the solar power that's uh, part of a um, particular solar mod and um, i can't remember the name of it but i'll find it and i'll link it in the description and it has batteries and all that and so it's electrical uh providing type thing but these metal um metal window frames this is an s plus mm -hmm. thing and you can change the transparency of uh these guys and um you can select uh um, you know, if they're two-way, one-way, uh, all sorts of neat stuff you can do on these. So, on our other uh, other servers, we have bases built where we use a lot of those on the out on the outside on the uh, outer walls, and uh, that's really neat. You know, it's really cool. Uh, cool. Yeah, here's the inside. Cool. He's getting uh, dark, so we can see some of the uh, lights you put up. These yeah. uh, small little um, nav lights, these incandescent uh, ones that you can set up, those are part of the Advanced Rafts mod. It's a very expansive uh, ship's mod, and so if you want to do rafts and things like that, it's a, it's an absolute must. It's a magnificent mod. <clears throat> I will uh, grab it, and I will link it, um, the, uh, the uh, Steam uh, mod uh, link for that. I'll put that in the description as well. So... Um, yeah, down here you have the actual motorboat object, and this is the guy that you uh, that you I guess you spawn in or whatever <laughs> when you build it. Correct. Right? Yeah, this is this is the raft itself, and uh, as you'll notice, the um, foundations are below the actual raft, and that is key because that is what will allow your animals to attack the foundation and not the boat itself. The boat has a finite number of um, Right. Hit points, and when it reaches zero, the whole thing goes with everything on top of it. Yeah, it's like it's, it's all branched off of this guy. So, if the motorboat goes and everything falls apart, and instant, instantaneously, yeah, and you will have no no bags will be dropped. So everything that you have in storage, uh, if you have it in a fabricator and a smithy, mm -hmm. uh, refrigerators, uh, they're gone. Everything, <laughs> everything right? So, yeah, I lost. I lost quite a bit of stuff on that last uh, incursion with a wooden boat. Yeah. And that, that lead, lead uh, just, they basically call them leads, 
I guess is what I've yeah. heard people call them. Um, they're boat killers, and they will trash the boat real quickly. So yeah. just kind of FYI. Uh, right. So that's what that's why I did the, the metal. And supposedly those leads will trash metal too. Mm-hmm. So, so it's not – the metal's not – they're not impervious to it. Right. Um, my thing is, is that the metal lasts – has more hit points than, than wood, obviously. Sure. So, yeah, it gives you more room, you know, to – to, to extend the fight out, you know, higher chances of killing the thing. So correct. Yeah, and you cannot you, c- you cannot outrun even a motorboat uh, cannot outrun the uh, the lead. So uh, mm-hmm. what's going to help is the X species. The, whenever they strike an object or an animal, for that matter, it, it actually slows it down. Mm-hmm. And every shot that it continues to hit, it just slows it down to a crawl. So uh, it's at that point where I'll be able to make my getaway or just kite the lead in a circle while the X species are just, you know, hitting it and the turrets will finish it off. Gotcha. So. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's really, really good design. Um, I, uh, one thing um, I wanted to uh, point out here also is um, Art built this uh, uh, with uh, storage in mind and a little bit of production as well. So this isn't necessarily just a, you know, a, an armed gunboat. Let's go hunt sharks, you know, kind of thing. It's a, um, it's meant to be also uh, something where you can take it out as kind of a mobile base or a mobile, uh, you know, type of uh, FOB, Ford Operations Base kind of thing. Correct. Um, you've got room over here on the, both of these sides uh, for fabricator, um, smithy, uh, refrigeration, all that kind of thing like that. He's got a power outlet. Um, there it is on this side of the ladder. Yeah, both sides. S plus yeah. electrical outlet. And so, um, oh, on both sides. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, so it should cover this whole boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Should have coverage. yeah, so you can uh, you can set up in here and do a lot of stuff. You can probably on this boat live at sea, I suspect. You know, it looks yeah. like it's big enough to have um, have the the key essential stuff for production. So S plus uh, metal storage boxes. You can put a stack of two or a stack of four, uh, two stacks of two. Have four of them and have mm-hmm. your storage on one side. Have production on the other. Maybe uh, your little bunk beds or or regular beds or whatever, and some of those little nooks in there. You know that kind of thing. So. Um, there's a lot you can really uh, do with this design. It, it doesn't have a giant footprint. Um, it's still pretty small, and with it made out of uh, uh, metal, it's got a uh, it's got a, a ton of hit points all around and um, and all that. So oh, yeah. yeah, it's a really cool design. Um, you're tentative, tentatively calling this the Ironclad, right? Correct. Yeah, just uh, that's pretty much what it looks like from the exterior. If you get a it's kind of a bird's eye view of it. it looks like an old. Civil War ironclad. Right. I gotcha. Let me do a uh, an up above uh, view real quick of this thing. Um, again, this is built with uh, Structures Plus, S Plus mod stuff. Um, really, really well done. Uh, also, a little bit of uh, the ad- Advanced Rafts mod is in here uh, for some of the interior lining, stuff like that. Um, you've got railings up on the sides and the front, and you have entrance ladders for being able to get in if you're in the water which is uh, right. really convenient oh and, yes uh, yeah really really well well, well put together uh, boat this one's inspired by sea rower and uh, again i'll link his uh his video in the description um anything else you wanted to say about this art no that's pretty much it it yeah. uh, just maybe we'll make another video to see if it uh will actually survive an attack <laughs> Once these things come out, so it yeah. could be disastrous or it could be, uh, you know, it could be, could be good. So yeah. we'll, we'll have to see. Once these All things right. pop up, we'll we'll give it a ganders. I'm uh, I'm optimistic about it. I, I think it'll uh, I think it'll work just uh, simply because you did the uh, the uh, metal foundation building um, underneath the actual motorboat object, and that is honestly the weak point any on any raft that you want to expand. I've I've uh, had the same thing happen. I've lost a boat that way too. So um, correct. So, yeah, I think it'll work. So, the ironclad uh, motorboat by uh, Hard Pipe, inspired by uh, Sea Rower. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, this is the first arc one I've uh, made, even though we've been, <laughs> there you go, yeah. even though we've been playing for a, uh, for I think well over a year now. Um, it's, it's been a little and, bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just haven't made any art videos. We've got a, a ton of uh, art content and stuff like that that we do. So we'll probably be making more. Um, one video I think I'd like to do uh, is one of the uh, the uh, compound that uh, 
he and his uh, girly maid, and uh, I'll show that off in a separate video. There'll probably be a link there, one in the boat here. But anywho, hope you guys liked the video. Um, hit that like and uh, button and subscribe if you would, please, if you have not. I'm adding content all the time, Imperion, Arma, just all sorts of different game stuff, Ark, um, which I should be doing more of. Um, appreciate your time very much. Uh, any questions or comments you have, please leave them down below, and I will answer them. So... Uh, again, this is BDC and Hard Pipe. Um, hope you guys got, or hope you guys liked the video, rather, and uh, have a good one.